Well, you know her best from TLC's Trading Spaces. I want to say probably was one of the first shows that really took off on cable network like that. That was a, a design. Was huge. <laughs> yes, that was, was a huge show. This is shameless self-promotion. Yes. <laughs> it's a nonprofit. It's not really shameless. <laughs> it's Paige Davis. Good morning. Oh, shameful. I, I, mis I misinterpreted. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Shameful self-promotion. Yes, this is shameful yeah. self-promotion. Yes. <laughs> but now you're doing something that kind of going back to your roots of how you kind of started. You didn't start out to be a TV No, no. In fact, Trading Spaces was the only TV I'd ever done. It was the first hosting I had done. So... Um, musical theater is actually my whole background, so nobody should be afraid if they see my name on the marquee. Like, what is that home improvement girl doing trying to sing and dance? No. It's actually what I do, so I'm really excited to be doing theater again. Well, you're going to be in Sweet Charity at the Marcus Center, and tickets go on sale Sunday at noon at marcuscenter.org, yeah. and we'll talk more about that coming up. Great show. Oh, it is a great show. I actually saw this company. They're already on tour, and I saw them in Pittsburgh, and they are so great and they're so nice and they really are working their butts off so you're such a natural for this role Paige you really are I mean it was me I'm, I'm a pathetic loser no who's but unlucky there's, in a, love. There's, a, there's a sweetness <laughs> to this character you know Shirley MacLaine did it on film yeah. and, and there is a a sweetness and an innocence to this character even though she's, she's working in a very seedy environment yes and and, and it's you <laughs> she's so um, well and I can definitely relate to her bourgeoisness I mean she's very simple she's very <laughs> down to earth. She's um, certainly not fancy by any stretch of the imagination. And, you know, she actually is quite a role model. She's incredibly optimistic. Yes. She never lets anything really get her down for too long a period of time. And in some very sad situations. Yes, very sad situations. But her middle name is Hope. Right. And um, she's just great. And one of the things I'd like to say most about this show is that it is such a perfect show to bring young girls to. In a really ironic way, even though it she is. plays a dance hall hostess, yeah. <laughs> which is like a euphemism for whatever. Yeah. Um, a working girl of a A working right, girl. Right. <laughs> she, um, you know, she goes through so many unlucky situations, especially in love, and she really gets taken advantage of. But in the end, she really comes to learn that she actually is enough on her own, and she doesn't need a man mm -hmm. or any other outside validation to just believe in who she is as a person. And to complete her. And to complete yeah, her, yeah. exactly. And so uh, that is just the greatest lesson I can think of for, for any young, young yeah, girl yeah. to see. Now, I love going to live theater.